If you're coming to WordPress from another platform or if you've never used a website builder at all, you might have some preconceived notions about what to expect. Now, those preconceptions are almost certain to lead you to frustration. So before we begin, let me recommend that you watch this video with an open mind. Are you open-minded? All right, great, let's begin. A WordPress page on the front end, meaning the view that visitors see your website, looks like this. You have a header. This usually contains your site name or logo, and then the primary site navigation. The header displays on every page of your site by default. Now, there are ways to disable the header, and you can even have a custom header for certain pages, but for now, just understand that the header is on every page. After the header, we have what's called the body content. This will be your blog post, your sales page, your photo gallery, or whatever you want to show visitors to your website. Finally, we have the footer. Much like the header, this shows up on every page by default. It usually includes links to things like the privacy policy, the terms and conditions, and probably a copyright disclaimer. Now, often we'll also include a secondary navigation menu or even links to social media profiles. So how do we set up or modify this stuff? How do we actually build a site with WordPress? Let's talk about body content. That's the stuff that lives between the header and the footer. In WordPress, there are two ways to add content to your site, through pages and post. So what's the difference? Well, it's pretty minimal actually, but it is very important to understand. Pages are for content that is considered evergreen, or that means that they don't expire. Pages don't have publish dates associated with them like posts do. So an example of a page would be the about page or the contact us page. Posts, on the other hand, have two unique qualities. They are dated and they will show up on a special page called a post page that displays all of your latest posts. Additionally, pages usually show up in the navigation bar, but posts do not. You'll just have to click on a link to the post page, which acts as the navigation to your recent posts. Over the next few videos, I'll explain in detail about pages and posts, how to set them up, tweak them so they look exactly like you want. And if you hang with me through all of that, I'll even show you how to modify the header and footer so you can get the business website that you're looking for. That's gonna do it for this lesson. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos in this series or in the regular review series where I go through and I review actually a lot of WordPress plugins or other productivity software that can help you grow a profitable business. All right, I'll see you in the next video.